Hey, CityCast listener, this holiday season, you could win a prize for doing simple things like ordering takeout from a local restaurant. It's all part of the DC holiday hunt from District Bridges. There are over $3,000 in exclusive prizes that you could win while supporting local businesses, completing fun missions, and crisscrossing DC, which, as you know, is one of CityCast listeners' favorite activities. And with no app required to play, it's easy and can be done at your own pace. Play now through January 5th for your chance to win. Just go to dcholidayhunt.org. Once again, that's dcholidayhunt.org. Happy playing. Today on CityCast DC, it's December, which means if you, like me, are the forgetful type, it's time to rush to get folks gifts for all of the holidays coming up. There's tons of local gifts to get people excited, and my colleague Ash Durbin is here to help break down what you should be buying. Today is Tuesday, December 3rd. I'm senior producer Julia Karen, and here's what DC is talking about. Hey, Ash. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. How are we doing? Pretty good. Okay, so in the spirit of Hanukkah and Christmas and every gift-giving holiday that we've got coming up, do you have any gift-giving traditions in your family? What do you do? The tradition generally is leaving it to the last minute to <laughs> figure it out, I feel like, on my side. I mean, we are a gift-giving family. It's not super serious, but for the nuclear side, at least, a little something is handed out on Christmas morning. Unless I have, like, a specific idea I come up with for each person, like, that usually pops up in, like, March, and then you forget about it, then usually I'm left a week before the holidays trying to figure everything out. What about you? I will reach out typically in November and be like, hey, are there things people want? I just keep a running Google Doc of like wow. things I know that I need. Like, I have a dog now. I want fetch balls for my dog. Sure. Stuff like that. Basics. But yeah, we're talking local DC stuff in terms of unique gifts. Are there some locally made products out there that you have bought your friends, your family, that you're like, yes, this was such a win. This was the smartest thing I've ever done. I think when it comes to locally made stuff, there's so much alcohol to be purchased in That's DC. That's not wrong. <laughs> that is made in DC. Obviously, there's like the classics like DC Brow, Denizens. Mm -hmm. If you're like gift giving for friends, if you're doing like a little holiday get together or something, I really have liked Other Half. I think it's kind of the the trendiest one right now. They have a lot of fun kind of weird flavors of IPAs and stuff, which I usually find gross. But last year, I got my friend who's like super into beer, a Daydream Imperial Oat Cream IPA. That sounds so weird. I really am not someone who is into that type of stuff, but it was delicious and it was a hit. <laughs> and it, they come in cool little cans. The brewery's in Ivy City, so it is locally made. Other half is all over the country, but their biggest brewery is in D.C. So that one's locally made and, yeah, delicious. And kind of like one of those ones where it's kind of like comes off as kind of like a jokey gift because you're getting them a oat milk beer. But then once they try it, they're like, oh, wait, this is actually delicious. Yeah. In the vein of alcohol gift giving, Republic Restoratives is a local distillery. They're the people that make Madam Whiskey, the one with Kamala Harris on it, right. the one that makes Civic Vodka. They make Descent Gin and Assembly Gin. My dad is a constitutional law professor. And so one year I got him Descent Gin and Assembly Gin. There's a photo in a slide deck of me holding up both of them. And he is like, <laughs> yes, this is what I teach now. <laughs> so it was on brand and it was on theme. Yeah. Besides alcohol, I really like giving people art. I appreciate good, like, cool maps or, like, watercolors. There's a local artist named Marcella Kriebel, and she does these really cool food prints. She works in collaboration, I think, with Jose Andres' group for an annual calendar. She also does napkins and table settings and stuff like that. It's all watercolored. It's all, like, vegetable stuff. There was one year I got my mom. She struggles a lot with, like, kitchen conversions when she's baking, and she has sure. a cool kitchen conversion watercolor baking sheet where she's written everything out and has like cute rolling pins mm. and flower buckets on the side that she's done in watercolor. So that lives next to my mom's stove now. So she just has it ready to go. Yeah, it's super useful. And they're also really pretty bright and vibrant and colorful. So I'm a huge fan of that. If you're someone who's like, I need to get someone something, but I'm not sure, get them Marcella Kreeble dish towels. Sounds like a weird gift, but they're very pretty. You almost won't want, like won't want to use them. Right. One of the main things with gift giving as you get older is like 
sometimes you almost feel bad getting something that's like you know they won't use sure. you know like so much of it is like i don't want to give someone something that's just gonna like clutter up their house something useful like that where it helps with conversions which is like one of the main strifes of baking is incredible how many times have i googled how many cups in an ounce or ounces in a cup it's every day yeah literally it's every, every day, day. There's a shop in front of my apartment. It's called Femme Fatale. And they do a lot of coordination with local pottery dealers and artists and stuff like that. So, like, I'll poke around there sometimes and grab, like, a candle. There was this fragrance company. I think it's called Kith and Kin. And they do perfume. And I bought myself a little perfume gift. Nice. I got a shout out. One of my friends, Liz Collins, does Liz Collins Pottery. She does these really cool mugs where... You send photos of your pet, like your cat, bird, dog, or whatever, and she'll put it inside of a mug that she makes and glazes. So when you drink your coffee, your little dog is staring right up at you. It's very, very cute. The number of mugs I have ordered from her this year, it's a lot. If you want to get something more upscale or if you have like a true fashionista or hype beast friend, there's a lot of local fashion brands. Mingo by Domingo is one. It's really cool. They have like really cool cardigans and stuff. These are made in uh, Maryland. There's also Eat, which is like one of the classics who's like collabed with some big artists and stuff. There's a bunch more, just a little bit of research, but Mingo by Domingo and Eat are great. I also had, um, this is kind of a stretch for Made in DC because they're plants. There's a new plant shop in Anacostia, plant shop and cafe called Grounded. It opened up this year. And they actually have like a gifts of gratitude section where it has plants curated to like different styles of gift giving. A plant is always a great gift because it's like makes your home nicer. It's like cluttering, but in a nice way. And it's like it's kind of like giving your friend like a pet that's lower stakes. And uh, they have gift cards. They do hike clubs and wellness events. Definitely, even if you don't end up getting a plant, cool place to go check out and you know, maybe find something for the holidays. Let's be real. Lawsuits are not fun. But with Paulson & Nace, at least they're a little easier. Paulson & Nace is a D.C. law firm in every sense of the word. It was founded here in 1979. Partner Chris Nace is a local who cares deeply about the D.C. community, even serving on the board of the local branch of the Living Classrooms Foundation in his free time. Nace and his associates Samantha Peters and Maya Perry handle medical malpractice, wrongful death, and other complex injury cases. And they don't just settle every case. They'll go to court. They'll fight for you. Paulson and Nace has even been recognized as one of U.S. News' best law firms. So if you have been hurt or lost a loved one because of someone else's mistake or negligence, call Paulson and Nace for a no-obligation consultation. Visit www.paulsonandnace.com. That's P-A-U-L-S-O-N-A-N-D-N-A-C-E dot com or call 202-463-1999. Today's show is sponsored by BetterHelp. If you're a magic maker like me, you know, the person in your crew responsible for the parties and the menus and keeping the whole squad on theme and on time, the holidays can be so much fun, but they can also kind of run you down. Therapy can be a great way to bring yourself some comfort. You know, maybe you want to learn how to set some boundaries with your friends and family this time of year, or maybe you're working on coping skills for when you get overwhelmed. Therapy can empower you to be the best version of yourself in any situation. If you're thinking of making a change, BetterHelp wants to be there for you. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Find comfort this December with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash CityCast today to get 10% off your first month. Again, that's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash CityCast. All right. So in addition to just like products that are made in D.C., if you've got someone who is all about that hometown pride, maybe they have the D.C. flag tattooed in the shape of the diamond. Do you have any DC themed products that you're like, yes, go get this thing? Yes. This is kind of a funny one. I was trying to think about it. Okay, like what kind of DC themed gift would I want that's not corny one? And it feels too obvious to be like the Jaden Daniels jersey or like, <laughs> you know, get an Ovechkin jersey. Right. Obviously you can do that. But 
in my research, I found something called Bailiwick clothing. These are designed and printed in the DMV, but they have merch for specific neighborhoods of DC. So you can get your friend who lives in DuPont, a cool DuPont circle shirt. The designs are really cool. They have shirts, they have sweatshirts, they have totes, water bottles, and the designs aren't like gift shop corny to style. They're like obviously like hand drawn or painted or whatever. I don't know if you have a friend who really rides for their neighborhood, that could be a, a cool gift. And they're, you know, in the 20 to $40 range, so nothing crazy. I know for a fact that like if you go to like Shop Made in DC, I'm huge into like maps and how they look and what it says about a city. And I think an underrated thing to get people for like gifts that is like DC Pride kind of stuff is anything map based. I know that Shop Made in DC does their own watercolors of each specific neighborhood. They also have a blown up one, I think, where it's like all of the little like neighborhoods in one gigantic quadrant. A very underrated thing to do is if you find like an old school Metro map, if you get it like mm -hmm. framed and you print it out and stuff, um, that can also be like just a very cool keepsake. The other thing that I know people do that sometimes they like to give as gifts are smart trip cards because they have different specific themes. There's like cherry blossom themed ones. There were capitals themed ones. And like some people have like collector's editions of smart trip cards. And it sounds dumb when you think about it, but it's like, no, actually like this is a really cool thing and speaks to how people get around the city and what the city thinks is important. Tangential to the Metro thing. There's this company called Metro Board. Mm. They are a startup and they do Metro maps, but they are connected to Wi-Fi and electrified. Okay. So it will light up the stations to tell you when the train's approaching and it's live. So Wait, like that's if, so cool. If you live close to your stop, theoretically you could have this map on your wall where you watch it come and then you're like, okay, it's time to go catch my train and you could perfectly have it all the time. This is called Metro Board. They run over 200 bucks and they kind of, because they're such a small company, they're like working in batches. So you kind of have to order ahead of time. Uh, I think they are closed right now, but if this sounds really cool to you, just keep an eye on it. Maybe you could get an IOU for someone. You're not going to get this for Christmas, but you'll have it in March or whatever. I feel like for a little kid in particular who's like obsessed with oh trains God. or obsessed with electronics, yeah. that's like the move. You can see it light up. Although if you're the parent, will your child ever sleep again? Probably not. Probably not. If you do want something like really cheap and corny, like an iHeart DC shirt or like <laughs> a DC bucket hat or whatever. Go to the mall. Go to the mall. There's Souvenir Wholesale by Union mm. Market, which I think is probably way cheaper than the mall. You'll find a shot glass or a foam finger or whatever. If that's what you're looking for, you can check that out. The world comes to Washington, D.C. this December. Join us for the 11th annual Winter National Embassy Showcase at the Ronald Reagan Building and International Trade Center on December 5th. Presented by World Trade Center Washington, D.C., Winter National offers a one-of-a-kind experience featuring representatives from over 60 embassies, promoting their countries through vibrant and interactive displays of visual art, food, and handcrafts, as well as travel, tourism, and trade. Attendees can shop the marketplace for artisanal goods like jewelry and hats or ceramics and hand-carved wood sculptures. Sample cultural delicacies and explore countries' exhibits featuring arts and culture, commodities, and diaspora communities in traditional dress. Don't miss this free, lively midday celebration. Register at rrbitc.com slash winternational. Have you ever tried a squid ink margarita? What about a cotton candy old-fashioned? DC's bartenders are constantly raising the bar with wacky and delicious new cocktails. And what better way to try out their creations than during this year's Cocktail Week? This year's celebration is running Friday, November 29th through Thursday, December 5th, the 91st anniversary of Repeal Day. Whether you like a classic martini or a mixologist's strangest specials, DC Cocktail Week has something for everyone, with over 100 participating locations in DC, Maryland, and Virginia. Warm your belly this fall with special happy hours and tasting events from some of DC's best restaurants. Visit dccocktailweek.com for details. That's dccocktailweek.com. Cheers. All right. So if that is not your thing, do you have any recommendations for people who are looking for like subscriptions or like stuff for local restaurants and services? Anything that you're like big time game on? Subscription wise? 
the obvious answer for me was just gift someone a Capital Bike Share membership. Yes. It's $95 a year. The person will still have to pay per ride, but it's much cheaper. They don't have to pay the open fee to take out a bike. I think for many a Washingtonian, that would be an incredible, incredible gift. You know what else would be a really incredible gift? Gifting someone a CityCast DC membership. Oh, wow. Listen, it's $8 a month. If you have a family member or someone who is like super into local news, membership.citycast.fm, hit us up. We would be glad to be the gift that keeps on giving to your earballs. In all seriousness, one of the things that I love about DC is its food scene, actually. I think DC's food scene has gotten a lot better over the years. With that has come some really interesting meal kit type stuff. One place, I actually got this as a birthday gift, I think like a year or two ago. Local hummus legend, Little Sesame, does a holiday hosting kit. They have Ooh. a premium sized one and they just have a plain sized hosting bundle. The hosting bundle is $58. The premium hosting bundle is $98. So I guess it depends on like how many friends you deign to give hummus to. But wow. it basically comes with like a huge 16 ounce thing of their normal hummus, their little sesame tahini sauce, a little eight ounce thing. They did a partnership with Burlap and Barrel Spice Duo. So they have sumac and black urfa chili. They give you a Graza Drizzle Extra Virgin Olive Oil bottle, and then they also give you a 10-pack of good pita. That's calling me even more than a hummus somehow. I know, right? And then it also comes with a 750-milliliter bottle of the Philia Non-Alcoholic Aperitivo. So this is like hits all the little buttons for everyone. Like for my book club, which I'm hosting, I might just buy this for myself as a subscription and be like, yes, check, please. That's such a good shout because, again, as your gift giving matures, like yes. who's going to be mad at? hummus or cheese or tinned fish. I mean, some people might be mad at the tinned fish subscription. Some people get weird about tinned fish, but I like tinned fish. We need to find the local tinned fish subscription. But that's such a good, like, you can't be mad at just hummus being shipped to your house every month. Like, that's incredible. It's awesome. I got it as a birthday gift, and I'm like, oh, no, now I need to get everyone a little sesame bundle. If you wanted to do gift cards to local restaurants, like to Star Restaurant Group, which are the people that own Le Diplomat and El Presidente, they have gift cards that you can look up almost any yeah. restaurant group in the area. They will probably have some flavor of gift card that you can pawn off on someone. And to smaller be like, restaurants, too, in my experience, generally just have gift cards, which is it's like giving someone a free meal. It's awesome. Exactly. I also had for subscriptions, most of our nonprofits in the area will allow you to do monthly giving. Yes. I think that's a, a great gift on someone's behalf. Martha's Table, Serve Your City, even the smaller like – Ward mutual aid programs, they all take monthly donations. If you don't want more stuff or things in your house, but you want to make a difference in the city, those are great ones. I feel like that's a thing that a lot of people forget about is, yes, if you don't need stuff, there are other people who need, need the money, need yeah. food, need something to make their, their holidays a little bit brighter. And it is the spirit and the season of giving. So there is that. Totally. Ash, thank you so much for all of your gift ideas. I might have to Go get myself oat milk IPAs. We'll see. Stouts? Oat milk stouts? I'm ordering the hummus right now. Awesome. That's all for today here on CityCast DC. If you enjoy the show, why not tell a friend who notoriously procrastinates on holiday shopping? We'll be back tomorrow morning with even more news from around the city. Bye.